This is the Enhanced Weather Clock. It is a weather forecasting alarm clock and it comes with the wireless sensor which will uh, tell you the outside temperature via a barometric air pressure sensoring system. It comes in the box with the clock, the sensor, as well as an AC cable. The clock does receive AC power by plugging it into an AC outlet. Um, it also can do three AAA batteries to run the clock as well. Though we do recommend that you use the AAA batteries only as a backup. It won't run very long on the batteries by itself. Um, but the batteries are good uh, for if you lose power or if you accidentally unplug this, it won't lose your settings and it will still keep running with the AAA batteries. And then the barometric pressure sensor also takes two AAA batteries. Um, again, these batteries are not included. Now the clock can tell you your time. It can do two options, 12 or 24 hours. It will also tell you your date right below the time. To the right of your time, it will tell you the indoor and outdoor temperature, humidity, and underneath the time on this clear ac acrylic section. Um, it's kind of hard to see in the video, but it does have some icons for sun, clouds, rain, and it'll also, based on the barometric pressure sensor, tell you what the weather is outside. It also has alarms, and it'll store your minimum and maximum temperature records. Uh, inside the box, included with the clock, and the sensor is also a screwdriver. Because it does not come with batteries included, you will want to place batteries inside the sensor. There's four screws. With the included screwdriver, just remove the top, pop your batteries in, put the four screws back in, and you'll be good to go. You want to keep the sensor and the clock within 30 feet of each other. They will communicate best when they are within close proximity, and it will take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours for the sensor and the clock to start communicating with each other. You'll see right here, you have your top is the indoor temp, bottom is the outdoor temp. You saw it just came to life. Now once they do communicate with each other, you'll have your display down there. Again, it will take up to 24 hours for the sensor and the clock to be more accurate. To set the time, we do have buttons on the back. You have a mode, set, and then an up and down button. If you want to set your time, press the set button to enter time mode and use the up and down arrows to select your time. Press set one more time to move on to minutes. Use your arrows up or down to adjust the time. And then press set again once you're done. Then you can set your date as well. And then the month and the day on the bottom. Again, using your up and down arrows. And then once you're done, your time will get going. The temperature on the clock can be set from Fahrenheit or Celsius. Right now, the clock comes in Celsius by default, so if you want to change it over to Fahrenheit, hold the up button on the back of the clock. And then it switches to Fahrenheit. Now, simply pressing the up button, right now there's no temperature records, but simply pressing the up button on the back or pressing the down button will cycle through um, your maximum and minimum record temperatures. That way you can know at which point was the hottest, which point was the coldest. Possible tips. As we discussed earlier, the sensor does take three AAA, excuse me, two AAA batteries not included. It must be within 30 feet to operate with the clock, and it will take anywhere from 12 to 24 hours to calibrate. If the clock is not powering on uh, when you plug it in, make sure the plug is securely plugged into the back.
and it should turn on. Also try different wall outlets. Uh, sometimes you may have a bad outlet in your house. Uh, try different outlets if it's not powering on. Also, on AAA power only, the display will be a little bit dimmer than you see here on the video. So if your display is dim, make sure that it is plugged into power and that you're not running on just AAAs only.